Hi there, and welcome to the first ever episode of Kiter News. My name is Pierre Marguet, and every week I'm going to take you through what's going on in the world of kiteboarding. I'm a kiter, I absolutely love kiteboarding, and I want to talk about anything relative to that. It doesn't matter if we're talking about big air, if we're talking about wave riding, if we're talking about freestyle, unhooked, park, whatever it is, if it involves a kite and it involves a board, I'm interested and I hope you are too. Every single week, I'm going to put together a video on what just happened in the world of kiteboarding. This is the first ever episode, so this time what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be talking about what went on in the past month or so. It was a big month in February. Moving forward, as I make more videos, I'll be giving you more regular updates. Kicking off with King of the Air. Jesse Richmond, big, big winner this year. Second time win. It was a big year for him as well. He had a baby. He rode Jaws several times, including the day before New Year's. He then comes over to Cape Town and takes the win at King of the Year. Very big podium for North Kiteboarding with two of their athletes on the podium with Jesse Richmond and Nick Jacobson. Of course, as you know, North Kiteboarding is a new brand. It used to exist as North Kiteboarding, but is actually what is now Duotone. The current North Kiteboarding launched under a year ago, got a lot of very good athletes very quickly, and now comes in for King of the Air and has two athletes on the podium. So that is huge for them. And riding for Duotone, you had Aaron Hadlow also on the podium. Sad to see Liam Whaley eliminated in the semifinals. He was taken out by none other than Nick Jacobson. Liam Whaley brings a very, very technical aspect to Big Air, which is very, very nice to see. But he's a fierce competitor, so I'm sure he's going to put his head down, work even harder, and come back in the next couple years and do his best to win King of the Year. Two riders of note this year at King of the Year. We had Ayrton Cozzolino. Oh my God, is it amazing to see him do his strapless freestyle. Great to see that aspect in a Big Air competition. Looking forward to much more from him. As well, we had Angelie Bouillot, the first female competitor at King of the Air. She made it past the early stages. Great to see her in there. Looking forward to see her in there again some more. Injury update for Polish competitor Yannick G. He injured his ankle just before King of the Air and unfortunately was not able to compete. He did this in a skydiving incident. I spoke to him earlier this week. His ankle is feeling better. He's looking forward to being back on the water and so are we. Injury update, we also have Ruben Lenten. Now this is not a new injury. Ruben Lenten injured his tibia and ankle a little while back in Barcelona. He's recovering, but it's a very, very long recovery process for that kind of injury. As well on the injured list, we have rider Julien Lolo, who rides for RRD, who injured his back at his home spot in Wissant, France. He is also recovering and we're looking forward to see him back on the water. Some product launches this month. We have Reedin Kites. So Kevin Langery left Nash Kiteboarding. He started his own brand with Reedin Kites. So they just launched a model called the Supermodel. The Supermodel is available for pre-order already, I believe. I think it's something like 1600 euros for a 10 meter kite. They say it's a kite that can do it all. And it's Kevin Langery's kite that he brought to King of the Year. New product launch, we have the Ocean Rodeo Alula material kites. So the Alula material is a lighter, stronger alternative to Dacron or the material that kites are normally made of. It's supposed to take a 10 meter kite that is normally about eight pounds and they want to get under two pounds. It's also supposed to be stiffer and stronger. So longer life for the kites and also since it's stiffer, more responsive. It's going to be used by Reese Myersko during the GKA Surf World Tour. He is one of the riders for Ocean Rodeo. So looking forward to see that kite perform. Also in the world of kiteboarding, we have the death of a company, which was called Makani. So Makani was a Google backed company that wanted to use the power of wind for energy. It was Don Montague that started that company, one of the originators of kiteboarding. That company was featured in the movie Chapter One, kiteboarding movie called Chapter One, and it has Google is now closing down some of its startups and it closed down that startup. Their idea was that the power that you get when you loop a kite 
If they can emulate that and harness that power and turn it into energy, it's a great thing. Unfortunately, that company is shutting its doors. New YouTube channel that is fun to watch. I just discovered Paul Sorin. He is a French kiteboarder. He has a brand new YouTube channel. Go check it out. Kook of the week, we have this guy here. It's an old video, but it's still really good. There's a reason it got a million plus views. I hope you enjoy it. Kicking off later this month, we have the GKA Surf World Tour. They are starting in Sal Cabo Verde, so be sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I look forward to putting out more videos. Leave some messages in the comments. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next week.